Closing arguments could begin today in the drug driving trial of Kerry Kennedy. The daughter of the late Robert F. Kennedy took the stand Wednesday. She says she cannot remember driving on a New York highway in 2012 after mistakenly taking a sleeping pill. She hit a truck and blew out a tire. Kennedy told jurors about her upbringing, saying, quote, My mother raised us because my father died when I was eight. He was killed when he was running for president. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman is a former criminal trial lawyer and joins us this morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, Nora and Charlie. She spent three hours on the stand yesterday. What did we learn, and was it important for them to bring up her political lineage? Well, what we learned, and the only person who could tell us what we learned is Kerry Kennedy, is that she had been taking thyroid medication for a number of years, I think since 1991, and she also took Ambien, or Zolpidem, it's generic, when she was traveling, and that, of course, is a sleeping pill, and a mighty powerful one at that. They, she was shown the two pills, photographs of the pills, and they do look remarkably alike. Her defense? I took the sleeping pill, the Ambien, by accident. It was a mistake. And one of the things that the defense, Nora and Charlie, has tried to do from the beginning is, as you say, talk about her lineage. She is a Kennedy. Why is that even relevant? It's relevant, say her lawyers, because if she were just a regular gal, just a regular guy, this case would have never been prosecuted up to a jury trial. It would have been simply a fine. So she is getting special treatment, the defense says, and not good special treatment because she is a celebrity, a Kennedy. What do you make of the fact that she says she cannot remember, that her memory is not there, jumbled? Well, Charlie, I'd say this. We don't know the life experience of these jurors. Um, I am sure it was gone into during jury selection. But if anyone has ever taken a sleeping pill and has had a bad experience on it, in that they wake up in the morning and they don't remember. The studies are legion. The expert for the prosecution has testified. There is a whole syndrome of people who take Ambien or its generic equivalent, and they go do things uh, in their house. They go cook. They turn on the gas. They turn on the oven. They go walking. Some go driving, and they have no memory. Has she changed her story at all since she'd been asked questions about what happened? Yes, and that may be her biggest problem. This is a case where when one says, of course, if you listen to what she said and look at those two pills, it was an accident. The problem is there's a story in the middle. She originally said she didn't remember anything, and of course that would make sense under the circumstances. For heaven's sake, you don't take a sleeping pill and get in the car to go to the gym or go do other duties. However, she changed her story that it was a seizure, and that could be the problem when she went back to the first story in the end. All right, Ricky Kleeman, good to see you. Thanks so much.